What's up everyone? It occurred to me last week that I have never done a proper Strife build. I've put motors in Strifes, I have upgraded the internals of a Strife, I have never done one where I actually did like everything in one solid package, like paint, overhaul, everything. So that's why I made this. This is basically my first ever proper Strife build that has a paint job, new motors, uh, everything to it. In this video, we're gonna be going over everything about it. On the outside is a Montana Gold Blood Orange and Shock Pure White paint job. So with this paint job, I wanted to put a secondary color in kind of the areas that I don't really see people putting too many secondary colors. For example, this line right here, I don't think I've ever seen someone kind of just do it on its own. And uh, these two spaces right here. Uh, this is just from my personal experience. I'm sure someone has done it just like this, but um, I wanted something kind of different. So in my last project video, I know I say that I don't like having orange on my blasters because I feel like it takes away from the look of the blaster if you're going for certain looks. But um, seeing how the paint, the main color is blood orange, um, orange doesn't really stand out too badly. And and some of these parts are moving and I didn't want them to scratch up the paint. Uh, for example, the jam door, and I know people like putting attachments onto the muzzle, so I left that so you don't uh, scratch up the paint there. And the trigger and the rev trigger don't really need to be painted because they're moving and you definitely don't want those two to gunk up. So that's really the paint job in a nutshell. And the one other feature on the outside that I'd like to point out is this little latch right here. I love putting latches on stripes. It makes opening up your battery tray really, really easy, and you can also see the XT60 connector, but I love using latches. Um, they're very useful, and I've actually had to use some uh, in an HVZ game. You just open them up, swap out your batteries, and close it. No need to carry around a screwdriver to open up your battery tray. It just makes life really, really easy, and they can also look really good on some builds because of the metallic look that they have. Um, haven't really had too good of a time trying to paint them, but doesn't really take away anything from the build in my opinion. So latches are awesome and I love using them. Now that we've gone over the paint job, let's talk about the internals. Inside the Strife is 16 gauge wiring all throughout uh, high grade silicone wire. And the rev trigger switch has been replaced with a 10.1 amp rated Cherry DC2 that has one of the most satisfying clicking sounds I have ever heard. Oh yeah, love that sound. And uh, I made it so that the rev trigger doesn't require a lot of uh, push in to, to activate, so about that much. But uh, you can still press it down all the way with uh, no problems. Up in the front where the motors are, you probably notice that there aren't any holes cut out. While I'm a huge fan of the 180 size motors, and I think they are the best option, um, even though there are some 130s that are still really good, I love 180s. Um, 180s have been kind of phasing out. They're really hard to find and the sellers that have been selling them uh, just don't carry them anymore. So I'm trying out some motors called Michelle Motors. A user on the Nerf Reddit named Michelle uh, found some motors and they're actually quite torquey and kind of awesome. So I broke them in and they are inside there and they are kind of amazing. They get really nice FPS and uh, they just sound really nice. I'll be leaving the motor sounds in with the chronograph reading so you can really get a feel of what they sound like. Um, I will be taking the volume down so my headphone uh, watchers don't have their ears utterly destroyed, but these motors are pretty awesome and they uh, get really nice FPS. As you can see, the Strife is shooting very nicely. The Chronograph is showing some great FPS, um, and these motors are really kicking it. The only problem I really have with them is that they're more torquey than they are uh, wind up -y, I guess is the, is the term I'm gonna use for that, but um, they don't wind up as fast as some of the other motors out there. So um, say you know, you're surprised by you know, an opponent in a game, um, if you were to quickly try and you know, pull the trigger and the rev trigger at the same time or around the same time, you're not gonna get as fast as a shot as say with some 180s. But um, still, these motors are really nice and you can just hold it down and spam this thing like this. So 
So there you have it. That is my first ever real Strife build. I'm, I'm surprised I haven't done one before because I really do love Strifes. So uh, expect another one sometime in the future or a bunch of them because uh, Strifes are pretty rad. But, but yeah, if you're interested in this Strife, it will be in my web store for sale. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments because I think it turned out nicely. But there you go. That is it for this video. And as always, have a great day wherever you are.